Are you planning on buying hoop shoes? Well then this video is for you. What's the best hoop shoe from each brand? Without further ado, let's dig right in. First up we have Nike. Their best hoop shoe would be GT Cut 3 with a retail price of 190 US dollars. This can be a lot of money to spend on shoes but the qualities can make up for it. The GT Cut 3 is well known for its traction as it has a great bite on clean courts, it picks up some dust when playing on dusty courts but it still performs great. One wipe and the traction is good as new. This shoe also offers a Zoom X foam for the midsole, but no carbon fiber plate or shank. Only a wonky piece of plastic on the bottom. However, this does not stop the shoe from being super springy and responsive to the foot. It also has no foam protection other than another thin piece of foam. Blur. But that won't be a problem. But they don't have any good colorways. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I mean, it's alright. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I mean, it's alright. I mean, it's alright. I mean, it's alright. Um, what the sigma? What? No, dude! Now it's Adidas's turn. Their best shoe would be the signature shoe of Anthony Edwards, the AE1. The traction isn't anything special but it uses dual density foam, a combined product of light strike and jet boost foam. The shoe is a little heavy unlike the GT Cut 3s which are super light. It is very stable and very comfortable to wear. It has an alien-like design on the side which is used for ventilation. However, there is a lot of bad scuffing on the rubber and durability doesn't hold up too well either. <laughs> now it's Leaning's turn, a Chinese brand who sponsors Dwayne Wade. Their best shoe is definitely without a doubt the way of Wade 10 low, with a whopping 200 US dollar. Damn those are even more than the GT Cut 3s. Bro this shoe literally has no downside, it's got 10 out of 10 traction and uses a carbon fiber midsole, it's the same as having victory insoles in your shoes. When you combine those with the boom foam they used in the midsole, they literally feel like you're jumping on a trampoline. It uses a wide base so it is very stable and is way better than the high top version because your ankles have so much more freedom to move. Ok this is the end of the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will make a part 2. Peace out fam.